Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video. Now this video you're watching right now is probably going to be a pre-recorded video since I am going on a bit of a mini holiday I guess for four days um, in the upcoming week. So yeah this video is coming out a few days after I recorded it. But anyways, we are today... Oh, blah, 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 I just messed up there. Yeah, today we're going to be putting my giant, my absolutely enormous gas giant custom object into the um, Astro Belt here. So if you don't know, it's called Big Gas. So yeah, if you've been following my channel for a while, you know I have Big Rock and Big Gas. So Big Rock is an enormous rocky planet and Big Gas is an enormous... Um, gas giant so we're gonna go and put it in the asteroid belt and see what havoc happens so this probably won't be a long video but hopefully you guys should enjoy because yeah it should be pretty interesting but i believe this is bigger than um hd 100546b i think i don't know actually let's have a look let's get a compar comparison here so it is slightly bigger than the largest exoplanet so yeah this guy's gonna cause some real trouble so let's just place this one really far away just to see if it actually is bigger so we'll put it out there so now let's go into chart mode. Yeah, so big gas is bigger than the um, largest exoplanet. So this is like the absolutely largest gas giant I could get in Universe Samox 2 without it becoming a star. So yeah, this should be um, pretty interesting. Yes, yeah, it's about 20,000 kilometers larger than that one, I believe. So yeah, interesting stuff. But anyways, let's get into this. So let's go to flashlight mode just so we can see things a little easier. And now we're going to head to here. And as we can see, Big Gas is right in the asteroid belt here. So it was a star at one point, that's because I gave it a custom red coloured um, orbit. Same with like Sedna out here. I made it a star and turned it back to a, um, a planet. And then, or um, I, um, what's the word? <coughs> Excuse me there. Yeah, I turned it. <laughs> Damn, I'm, I, I'm ill. <laughs> yeah, but I turned it back into a um, rocky object and it kept the red colour the star gave it. So, yeah, pretty cool stuff. I made a video on it a long time ago. So if you want to check it out how I did it in this detail then yeah check that out but anyway so let's now hit um, or slow this down now let's hit play and let's see what trouble this object will cause so well it has some um, chem uh, burned warfare oh, I didn't used to do that anyways so this is um ruining a lot of the orbits already as we can see it's got a very weird orbit with the sun it looks like so let's put it in a binary sort of thing here and it's just spraying the asteroid belt everywhere look at this it's just tearing the asteroid belt completely apart because this does have quite a lot of mass as well so you got to remember so this could be pretty deadly but look at that oh my god look at it it's just spraying the asteroid belt everywhere wow that asteroid belt yeah that's not gonna last too long with this guy around <laughs> just dead on in the middle i don't know why it's orbit's like gonna weird like that it's really peculiar but yeah so big gas is definitely gonna cause a lot of trouble here oh my god that's pretty crazy at least the simulation's running pretty well. So it usually doesn't run well with all the um, asteroids in here, but yeah, it doesn't seem to be too bad. But yeah, look at this. It's just spraying the asteroid belt completely everywhere across the whole solar system. So yeah, pretty crazy stuff. I think I'll add the um, the um, Kuiper belt in as well. So if you don't know, there's a further away asteroid belt in like from Neptune onwards. So yeah, we're gonna go and manually add that in as well. So uh, it's about. 25 AU to about 40 or 40 or 50 AU, I think, like this. So it should be, yeah, the far away asteroid belt, like that. So, and, and, and that's not good enough, actually, yeah. 30 to 50, I think it is, actually. Something like this. Yeah, like that. So we've got the two asteroid belts in the solar system now. We're just going to see how far the asteroid belt will spray out. See if the asteroid belt will con connect with the big Kuiper belt out here. So, there's, yeah, this belt's a lot bigger than the asteroid belt is, and Neptune is just about inside it, or inside the ring here. Because Pluto is part of the Kuiper belt, I believe. So, yeah, Neptune's just out about inside it. But as we can see, the asteroids on the asteroid belt are actually connecting with the Kuiper belt here. That's just how much trouble Big Gas has caused. Just look at this. Yeah, the asteroid belt probably isn't doing the best right now, as we can see here. It's causing a lot of issues. So, yeah, look at this trail here. So a pretty weird trail, and in orbit mode again, we can see it is causing a lot of trouble. Looking looking pretty bad for the system here, but not many of the objects are really getting altered around, so let's really ramp this up, and let's add a little more mass to the um, objects. Let's pull it up to 100 Jupiters. So, oh, it's a, dang it, I don't want it to be a star. Okay, let's pull it down a bit. 95. Okay, 90. So I don't, I, I, I don't want it to be a star. I don't want it to have any luminosity. Okay, 70. There we go. 
So that's a gas giant again, but it has a little more mass, so hopefully it should speed up the process of ruining these asteroid orbits. So be pretty interesting stuff, but just look at the asteroid belt. Look at the chaos it's caused here. That is pretty crazy stuff. And we can't run the simulation any faster. <laughs> Dang it. I guess we could try this. Oh, when you adjust the time slap views on the side of... Oh, I started a tutorial. Dang it. Um... Okay, if you want to read that, just pause the video, but it's just saying that it'd be more accurate. View, wait, oh, simulation. Oh, there's options to change it. So, clicking the switch. You can manually enter value for torrents. Oh, okay. That's interesting, actually. I've never done this tutorial before. I didn't even know you could do this. So now, we should be able to speed this up faster, I want to say. So, can we do that? Oh, we can! Okay. So this is the fastest we can run it, it looks like. I, I think, anyway. Wait. Um, let's just open this up again. No, let me click it. Please. Oh, yeah, it's just this button, isn't it? Accuracy. Oh, the accuracy is already off. Like, close the tutorial, yeah. So if we play around with this, we can change the tolerance, I believe. Oh, my God. Look at that. Okay, so we've really sped it up now. And look at the chaos. Oh, my God. Wow, okay. So that is... Okay, we've got to pause this. Just lock onto the sun quick. So look at this. Oh my gosh, that's pretty cool. So it's a little... It, this probably is slightly unrealistic compared to what would actually happen, but just so we can speed the video up a bit. Just look at this chaos here. Look at the asteroid belt. It's literally just spread out. It's going outside the orbit of Neptune and Iris and stuff. Some of it... Look, this asteroid here has gone further out than Planet Nine. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, this asteroid out here is further than planet's nine orbit. That is crazy. Yeah, so big gas is launching these asteroids so far away in such a short amount of time. It's only been a hundred years almost. And it's already launched objects further out than planet nine. So they are traveling pretty fast. Yeah, but as we can see, the asteroid belt really isn't surviving anymore. And it looks like the orbit of Mercury has changed, I want to say. Let's have a look here. Oh my god. Okay, we have absolutely unleashed chaos here. So, Venus is now the closest object to the Sun. Earth has got... Yeah, Earth's getting a little cold, it looks like. And the rest of the other solar system is just history. Just look at look how all the orbits that have changed. That's crazy. Yeah, so big gas is is completely berserk now. What is it? Go back to zero. Is it still heat up? Ah, dang it. Well, it used to be a, um, a normal gas giant, but now it seems to have sort of turned into a brown dwarf. Probably because the game changed its settings a bit. I, I don't know. But that's a cool setting, actually. I didn't know you could do this. So maybe if you guys have got any cool, interesting videos um, or like, any cool, in interesting ideas we can try with this menu here, then, yeah, leave some comments down below because, yeah, I wouldn't mind um, playing around with some of these options here because we could get some really crazy things going on here. I never knew you could really do anything with this. I've seen this gravity menu before, but I've never seen this tolerance thing. I don't even know what this does. But just look at the absolute craziness that has unfolded here. Look at the orbits. Where do we even start? Like, it looks like the sun's orbit has moved a bit. Like, I don't even know where this Charlinko object's going. Like, what the heck? Just look at this. This is just mental how far... Look how far some of these objects are now. Like, we'll pull it on the background on the complete solid black. Look how far away these are. Like, the furthest one is probably over here. So how far away is this from the sun? Uh, let's have a little look here. So... That object is over 10,000 astronomical units away from the sun. Yeah, that that's pretty crazy. Even Planet 9 doesn't go that far, I don't think. Let's, let's see how far it goes, actually. Uh, let's go back to orbits, please. How far does Planet 9 go? Oh, we can't see it. Dang it. Okay, Sedna. So where's Sedna? So we'll just put Sedna at its furthest distance, pretty much. So Sedna's furthest distance is 1,000. So that object is 10 times further, or about 10 times further than what net or what Sedna's orbit is at its furthest point on this current like simulation. So that's crazy stuff. That is absolutely crazy. That is that's pretty cool. Yeah. So like I said, if you guys got any awesome ideas to try out with this um this um option here, this tolerance thing, then or this gravity option or whatever you want to call it, then yeah. Leave a comment because we could get some pretty crazy stuff going on with asteroids and asteroid belts and stuff like that. Or even ring systems. Well, we could mess around with the rings of Saturn and call something crazy. So let's see how fast we can actually play this. Like, am I going to mess up my game settings doing this? Like, I don't even know. Like, we could... 
Okay, so that's a hundred percent accuracy. So let's just put it on like a hundred percent not accurate. So completely inaccurate compared to what would actually happen. But just to make the video or just make the um stuff move quicker, just to get a bit more of the craziness going on. Just look at this. It may not be realistic, but it's still really fun to watch all this. Look how far these objects are. It's like a star constellation now or something like that. That's that's crazy. So look at this. So Mars is now the closest planet. So if we just look at Earth here and look in the night sky, how many asteroids are we going to see here? So let's put it on realistic mode. Actually, no, we'll keep it on flashlight just so we can see everything. So we'll land in Greenland here at the top of Earth. And look at all these asteroids. Like, I know in real life you probably wouldn't see them because they're just so small, but look how many there is. They're just everywhere you look, especially in this direction here. Just a whole line of them everywhere. I think what we should try is we should put, like, ten times Saturn's rings around Earth, put a moon inside the rings, and then hit play and see what craziness we could do. So, yeah, that'll be a very interesting video. So, yeah, if you guys want me to do that or just have any other days, like I said, just leave them down below because we could get some very crazy stuff with this. This is this is just mental. This is so slow this down. Oh wow, that is crazy. So yeah, there we go, guys. So if you um put big gas in the um asteroid belt and then make it a hundred percent not or inaccurate, as we can see by the options here, craziness would completely unfold, as we can see. Just look how far these objects would happen. I'm pretty sure even in a realistic simulation, like with it being 100% accurate, this would still happen eventually. Like some of the objects would just get thrown out of the system and never come back. So, yeah, the, the, this asteroid belt here, the Kuiper belt, that doesn't seem too affected by this um, craziness here. But yeah, the asteroid belt no longer exists, to be honest. It's just asteroids flying around in completely peculiar, crazy orbits. So. Yeah, there we go guys and now big gas is in a binary orbit with the sun so yeah if you um, guys all enjoyed this and so make sure you leave a like subscribe for more because yeah this this is very fun to do <laughs> actually this is this is awesome so yeah if, like i said leave a like subscribe for more make sure you have a good day and yeah i'll see you in the next video <laughs> goodbye yeah that this is really fun to make anyways see you guys